Welcome to Bears in Exile. Today is Tuesday, May the 21st, and this is a quick hit on the indexes. Starting off with the Dow. Uh, what do we have today? Well, today we have a another messy candle. It'd help if I was looking at the Dow, right? <laughs> All right. So here we are with the Dow, not the global ES. And we have uh, we have a new high, of course. I mean, every day is a new high. But um, we don't really have a candle of note here. This is just a big uh, a big nothing. Uh, obviously, we have no downtick today. Um, obviously, we have a little bit of excessive separation, but not critical, and still a little bit of wobble. But uh, overall, it uh, it's not looking bad. It's not looking bad. Now. There are a few warning signs. A few warning signs. For one, we've been watching the 14-day RSI moving average on its little trek up here. And now we are getting to the 80 line. Which means that uh, before too long, we should be in a problem area. I mean, uh, I guess it's possible it could be tomorrow, but uh, really I'd like to see it above the 80. And, uh, and then we can see if it goes all the way to the top, if it only goes part of the way. But regardless, it should smooth out here before too long. It is running out of room. So uh, that is encouragement to the bears. But, uh, I mean, this isn't the end of the world. Um, would I short just based on that on where it is today? No, of course not. Uh, the RSI ticked up today very uh, sharp. It's, <laughs> it's way high. But uh, beyond that, everything's still holding high, either pointing up or just going sideways high. Um, yeah, except for a couple of little minor signs, it doesn't look too bad to me. But uh, time is running out. I do believe, at least before a, uh, uh, a little minor reset, at least. 60 minute time frame. Do we have anything to work with today? Uh, yeah, we have an extremely good confluence in the 60 minute time frame for some down movement. Even the uh, 14 day RSI moving average ticking down in the 60 minute time frame here. Everything pointing down, the 60 minute absolutely looks poor. Not that that has meant too much in the past. Uh, when we've had these resets, it, it, the uh, price has been going sideways. So uh, the question here becomes does it actually go down or does it go sideways? But the 60 minute is. Uh, and really nice alignment for that. But the daily, yeah, it can, it can go some more. Easy. SPX, more of the same? Well, we have a spinning top. That's a little bit different than the Dow. And we did make a, a modestly uh, new high today, but it's still a new high, so that is bullish. Um, I think the wobble and the excessive separation is not as bad on SPX as it is on the Dow. And just like the Dow, 14 day RSI moving average running out of time, running out of space, and as a matter of fact, it is more developed than the Dow. So while we can go higher, uh, we are running out of time for the bulls. It's just what it is. Going on to the VIX. Now this little bugger is very uh, troublesome. It uh, it broke that support. Figured okay very natural for it to go down. The market continues to go up and the VIX is not going down. This is very, very odd. Um, it did have an extremely good showing today, up uh, 34 cents. And look at this. It's doing something that I actually really like, which is it's fighting with the long-term moving average bar the correct way, not gapping through it, trying to work its way through it. This is, uh, this is surprising to me, but uh, nonetheless it is what it's doing. Um, is this a fat body spinning top? Eh, I suppose you could classify it as that, but uh, anyways, it's into resistance most definitely, uh, where it has failed all these times in the past, and of course the resistance of the long-term moving average bar itself, closing outside of the upper Bollinger Band slightly. Um, does this have more room? Well, secondary reset, which we've talked about in the past, it is doing it. The 14 day is still pointing down, although it is losing just a little bit of its momentum. So this is very, very curious um, if maybe this could turn. I know it's very early, but uh, this is unexpected. And if we are entering a topping area soon, running out of time on the down SPX, perhaps people are just front running this. So uh, I suppose that would make sense. And it certainly 
if that's the case, is saving it from what should have been an easy fall. Going on to IWM. Hmm. Doji Star. We have no downtick. Um, there is more room to move to the upside than the Dow or SPX within regards to the 14-day RSI moving average. Uh, everything else identical, nothing really to rehash, but uh, that is interesting. Doji Star. And it did not make a new high today. That is just a little bit curious. It does make it a little more bearish, uh, I think. But uh, you can't trust the bears at this moment. Until we have a clear sign, until we have a downtick, um, I do not trust the bears, although I will look every single day to see if, uh, if they're able to pull it off. Whenever they're able to pull it off, I should say. And SPY2 round out the evening. And this one, too. Um, if you blow it up, it looks like a spinning top. If you don't blow it up, it looks like a doji star. But uh, I'll just say that it's one or the other. How about that? Huh? Uh, looking at our volume information. And small move up today. On balance volume ticking back up, which is... Uh, which is fine. We're doing this little squiggly right here. We do not have any warning signs at the moment, but it is curious. Volume price trend actually turned down today. It could continue and approach its trigger line right here. We also maybe could be rolling in the volume weighted MACD. It going sideways and not up today, and uh, perhaps it could approach its trigger line in the coming days. So immediately, is there a an obvious problem here? No. Uh, are the odds increasing perhaps that by the end of the week, maybe next week, uh, we could have a few things try and turn? Yes, it is possible. So uh, that in itself would possibly suggest that uh, the bulls are in fact running out of time. So uh, very curious, but uh, as it stands, it's still the uh, bulls game to lose. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. <laughs> Have a nice evening.